Hey, it's the Crypto Sniper coming at you again. Oh, it's a rich season of crypto updates. Well, things are happening. That's why a um, couple of things. Um, so, so far, I've avoided getting into the whole Pulse, PulseX uh, thing. I'll make a few comments today, but I wanted to talk about uh, eHex, Hex, uh, and a prediction we made uh, some time ago. Um, and one of the reasons why we say technical is it, you need a real method and you need a real understanding to be on the right side of the markets. And in lieu and light of that, we did a great deal of things to warn potential folk around what we saw was coming for HEX. Let's go and take a look at the news as it arrives at a particular time and someone who gives you the news well before the news someone who gives you the news well before the news as as it turns out on this particular search we have two videos we have two videos here right here for you to enjoy so no more than just seven hours ago aka today i'm recording this on later i was supposed to i got dressed to record with jim rogers there was confusion with the timing and so now i'm ready to do a youtube go and have a look at the charts and something's gone and happened. Hex trading a fraction of a cent. That means below one cent, now counted in fractions of a cent. Um, and here's your news. 470 views. The market has decided on EHEX and PHEX. EHEX drops below one cent. And here below it, about a year before, is something saying, hey, we called the top on this token at 51 cents. It's going to continue to fall. And it's going to likely trade below one cent, a fraction of a cent, a full round tripper. Hodlers, be careful. Despair, rage. All the guys, the, you know, the four fives guys, etc. on the e-hex. You could end up in a bit of a situation on your e-hex. Sure, it's great that you're going to get p-hex. It's nice if p-hex sufficiently compensates you for the fact that you could have got out at 51 cents. And later on the neckline at 36, 37 and a half cents. Later again, even at 25 cents for a hex. Rather than being in a situation where you rely on PHEX needing to be 51 cents to compensate for that fact as the EHEX goes to sub a cent virtually fraction of a cent nothing peppercorn uh, money and the, the key aspect about this is I said it long ago this YouTube I didn't I didn't do many hex dedicated YouTubes guys it takes a bit of effort it takes energy to do these things you've got to lift yourself up um, if you were saying something that was bearish, your videos got downvoted a lot, everybody hated on you. Everyone, I'm going to show you some examples of the comments and some of the things people say when you said it. And this is not specific to Hex. If ever you're bearish, people get sick of you when you're warning them it's a bear market and it's going to carry on down. Actually, truth and insight is underappreciated in terms of how it's reflected in the social uh, media. And early insight, a year before it happens, and let me say, I tweeted before this, long before, and I did other crypto videos on the likes of Solana being at a top at 260 and are likely to turn down, etc., uh, etc., et or various other. Binance going to be dominant now just before the FTX collapse. All these others, I wouldn't do a small segment at the end saying, I'm warning you, HEX is going to go uh, sub one cent. E-HEX will go sub one cent. And... I, I don't even know exactly where to see the price of PHEX. I haven't even been able to claim the ever so small amount that I left uh, on actual, uh, what's the word, stake. So the way I managed HEX is I knew I wanted it regularly liquid uh, and I expected a certain time frame. So I did nothing of long-term staking. I would stake for three months, six months. I would say, when's my next timeline that I'm expecting something to happen? And that would come as a conference of looking at the charts and various other things. After the top, I made sure I had no further stakings and I wound up 
uh, my positions and got into stable and spent time warning people that you're going to go down, down much further than you think. And that it's going to be a longer bear, a longer winter and the process of delivering a complex pro uh, product projects multiple is likely to overextend. So I expected anything. I mean, I do simple things trying to get a new platform for my community. And it's unbelievable how long inside a WordPress and BuddyPress environment that takes. So, and that is tiny in comparison to what uh, was uh, achieved, sought to be achieved, however you want to frame it in terms of the multitude of things that have gone on uh, here. So it's expectable that it was going to run absolutely late. But if you want, going back to the stereotype, the news before the news, you go to the crypto sniper and you will get the headline quite likely on what actually was a 99% decimation from 51 cents to whatever the price is today. And for that, I will take you to the charts. This is EHEX 0.08 and it traded, no, that's two noughts, naught point naught naught eight. So that's eight tenths of a cent. That means you traded through the key cent level and you've actually traded six tenths of a cent. So let's just do a small reminder technically of where we've gone. It was absolutely for me and many of people will say, and this is the thing about making macro predictions. Everybody hates you when you're doing it, particularly when you're dealing with a believer, a, a, a created cult of we hodl, we stake. That's reinforced. Trading bad, trading bad, trading bad. In some senses, in many instances, for most people, it's absolutely bad. Good advice. Good advice. Invest. But the key element is where you have to have stop losses and you have to be able to get out. And the system was designed for properly ripping your face off if you stayed super long and you only did a very small percentage of that stake and then you panicked and turned out and you had to end stake. You got absolutely punished. Uh, in that event. Now the seminal founding HVF that we took to the long side that we said will be the round tripper and the funnel would be run. Go and watch some of these old videos. Guys, they're even on Rumble. Uh, they're on YouTube, they're on Rumble where we back them up. Uh, and there's other topic cryptos that I covered where Hex is mentioned in the subject line that were earlier still that warned that you're likely to go down. This is warning you when it, when it was still in the 30s, the 20 cents for eHex. Now, I have to go check. Uh, I think we can go into the deck screener. I'm not even sure what PHEX is. I'm busy watching Pulse absolutely dump it at the moment. And I'm grateful that I got at least 60% out. So I did exit. I do still have some. And I don't want the project to fail. And it's absolutely natural. People had way too high expectations. I had people thinking you're going to get 10x in the first week, the first month, the first three months. And I'm like, you're kidding me. Uh, and then they go, oh, you're a market cap guy, you know, trained to think that overall valuation in any form has no meaning at all. Just because, oh, you become a market cap guy because you've been taught to think that careful to sustain a value. And this is the exact same with the, the, the control structure with the debt markets. Um, eventually people call your bluff. If you, so market caps in the longer run do indeed uh, matter. The total number of tokens by the valuation. People are going to be slipping out who understand that it's only at the margin that price is determined. Uh, anyway, so if we go and have a look for PHEX, let's see if I can actually get a price for it. P hex against USDT, for example. I'm gonna I'm gonna plead uh, the fifth here and say I'm not even sure what PX is valued at. I truly don't know uh, pulse hex, uh, but I'm guessing it's not 51 cents. I'm guessing it's not 30 cents. We seem to have a P hex uh, versus pulse on uh, pulse hex. It's the exchange price, uh, and that doesn't look uh, particularly promising in terms of that, but one of you guys in the comment, tell me how I find out what a P hex value is in a current US dollar and I'll appreciate it um, because I can't even tell you myself. Um, it's also new. I've kind of just viciously unloaded my pulse. I've recouped all my initial capital and some growth. 
Uh, the Pulsex I never sold at all, uh, apart from a very small bit just to, tech, to check the liquidity, about 20%, because it was pretty poor performance from the get-go. It's below SAC value for me uh, most of the time, so I just tested it. Uh, and I got all my, uh, my green out on uh, Pulse, which also, thankfully, was my far bigger sacrifice. But what you guys have done, who knows? Some of you might have missed Pulse, only been in Pulsex. I don't know. This is not a comment about the rest of the ecosystem. In fact, it's not even, an, an, this is also not a specific disc for somebody who's actually brought an incredibly large project to market that seems to be functioning. I'm here about price performance and price performance only. And we are talking about the legacy HEX token. And it's quite clear that once you had the bifurcation of HEX, that it would not be good for eHex. But what many didn't realize is that you're not necessarily in this process. And this is almost like reset for the financials. When they do this massive debt reset and we get all the financial, everyone's going to get a, a pasting on that. Because you're going to lose your old money and the new money you're going to get, you're going to have a quantum leap of, of loss of value. And this is kind of what we've had essentially here. Because my suspicion without knowing is that PHEX is not compensating you for not getting out up top here, anywhere in this level, even at 12 cents, um, that the summation, bearing in mind that this is almost not worth considering at its current price at sub one eight, uh, at eight tenths of a cent. But it has completed the full round tripper that we warned. It has completed the full round tripper that we warned. This foundational upside HVF that was seminal to the pumpamentals of what in sense essentially is an interest bearing uh, token uh, that had a number of setups along the way up. You got into your head and shoulders, then you started to turn. And that was your 51 apex high. I'm going to get out of the weekly and just show that to you in a slightly smaller time frame so that it's more legibly uh, visual as a chartist. But as a chartist, we tried to warn hexagons that there were great upsides to be enjoyed in the good times, uh, which was all part of new money coming into the ecosystem. Pretty, pretty well trained, I don't want to say cult, but some will, pretty well trained followers that were encouraged to tie up all their tokens for the maximum gain, thereby setting themselves up for very expensive exits if they didn't wait the 5,555 days, which God knows how many years that is. Uh, I'm guessing it's around 15 for some of the people that have done that. Uh, and as a result, they would have ridden up, gone for the round trip, and been the loyal bag holders that are still in there. Now, don't forget, they will have got the PX2. And it's the same kind of token, just a cheaper chain for, uh, for activation. So that's an improvement. But the two bifurcated halves will not make the hole you could have got up top here. And that was why I disposed of HEX. And that was why I never staked it longer than each time that I could see how much more upside. And then once the market had clearly turned, I was confident of the top at 51. I staked no, uh, no more. I was getting the tokens back regularly, just picking up a few amount, three months here, there, and clear them all out and get into uh, your stable coins and watch a bear market. And I want to just highlight, this is a log scale chart, guys. This is your journey. This is your journey in a normal chart, by the way. This is an unbelievable journey. You know, it's an unbelievable journey up that everyone will talk about, but you won't be able to brag about its success and now it was the fastest and the mostest anymore because that's where it is today. It's what have you done for me lately? And actually, it's a round tripper all the way back to this legacy HVF over there. It is one big round tripper. But you have been compensated with P hex. As I say, I'm not here to knock. You've got a beautiful head and shoulder over here on the rallies. Everyone said, you were wrong, you were wrong. At that point, it was at two or three cents at the absolute low. And then we got a run. This was the last push for funds for staking in here for the double up on your PHEX. And I said, don't do that. Don't do that. Because your EHEX that you're overpaying for now and chasing up is going to drop phenomenally. And you're going to put all this pressure on a brand new chain 
and a brand new token that is going to require it. And if you've staked all of it for long terms, you won't even have access to it without getting, again, the same penalties applying. So you've got to stay liquid and nimble when there's key markets that are going through major trends and changes. If you had sold at 37 cents, not the high, at 37 cents, way up top here, again, without the log scale, just look at that goddamn difference. That's 36. If you'd got out on this sell up over here, you are better off by a mile, an absolute country mile in USDT, even if it had been in USDT that whole time or C, whatever, stablecoin, did something else with it, put it in a NASDAQ tracker, done, done anything else with it, bought gold or silver. Uh, or just left it in a bank account, providing it's not one of those that are going bust, or put, put it into Ethereum. We've got other charts we have to show you. So this was some of the, the dialogue that's uh, happening uh, that you know, came out of this. Let's go into the video itself um, where we're speaking. And you get some of the comments uh, that were here. Actually, the guys in the YouTube, but by the time this one was done, you had already just had quite a substantial spill. You hadn't made it down here, though, to break this red line, which was our prediction right the way down there. And again, you're in the log scale, but you had broken and formed a broadening structure right here. I shouldn't be doing this on the YouTube chart, but I was just caught every time I see it, I feel forced to draw it after this breakdown target remake down and then that let go was brutal brutal then you had the rally you had another head and shoulders you saw it on the chart and you back down so a lot of people uh kind of uh maybe a little bit reaction actually the comments were quite respectful here because at that point they'd already taken someone saying not salty at all keep keep the comments coming but they were saying but hex is for longer term staking you don't get out we will sit through a number of cycles. If you sell a 555, you lose everything. Well, you've lost everything in valuation right now at 8 tenths. Now, do I think it can come back a little and that it will? Actually, once everyone has given up and there's been some paces that people that have just done shit, I'm just going to take the little I can get. I can't de deal with this negativity anymore. And they give up on EHEX. I actually think you can actually get some recovery. But the glory day for this token, in my opinion, is probably well behind you in any meaningful way. And you don't, no matter what yield you're getting, you don't compensate for 99% capital decimation. And that's going to happen on your interest rate spike on your bond market. It doesn't matter what interest they pay you. If it loses most of its value, it doesn't matter if they're paying you 25%. It's 25% of one hundredth of what you originally had. It's useless because that one hundredth you're going to get a quarter of again at the end of the year. Uh, that means you have one and a quarter where you should have had a hundred. You've got to understand these mathematics uh, and the other token as compensation is not the innovation. The main innovation now, I think, for everyone is the new chain, which is the PLS. And in spite of that, I knew I wanted to get a lot out, a lot of it out. And it's come off quite substantially. I was able to get uh, decent charts. You guys will teach me. As I say, I'm not overly sure. I haven't even gone and I had such, I kept a small notional amount in hex, like, uh, not even a fraction of 1% to see how the PHEX would work. And I haven't even gone and claimed them yet. So it's not meaningful. But if we have a look at uh, Pulse, and I don't want to make this about Pulse uh, because we are talking about X, but this is uh, a pretty typical early. A lot of people who weren't in chased it up because they got into Pulse X. There were a lot of people that maybe pivoted some Pulse X for Pulse as they were setting down in their ratios. And this is this is now a down leg. Now, you don't determine the future of a token on such a short time frame of charts. But this is quite typical of an initial euphoria, people not in, and then the follow up new buyers. There's very few people that said, I'm going to wait four or five days, maybe two weeks, three weeks, and see how it settles down, and then I'll buy. The people that wanted in had to get in. So the minute they worked things out, the first two, three days afterwards, up, up, up they go. They charge in at 2737 and now they could have had it 
for 40%, 35% if they'd just been patient. This is the problem with people. They forget that entries matter. You buy in at a thousand and that doesn't mean it can't go nine, uh, and five or four digits uh, in front of it on pulse. You buy in at 900, uh, which is not very far from the 1,069 compared to the people that bought in at virtually 3,200,005 oh, and you have properly, properly overpaid. You've got one third of the amount of pulse that you could have had. You could have a billion instead of three billion. You could have a hundred million instead of 300 million. You could have 10 million instead of 30. You get the picture. Anyway, so back to the, the whole story. We had an interesting um, period. This was one of the tweets where we were warning. That, by the way, was a check-in in November. So the video was already a year ago. November's not so long ago. Warning about the downside and even saying, yes, you bounced on that roof, but you're coming for our funnel. There's all these funnel jaws. There's that head and shoulder. The 50 high line, the neckline, the 36, 37 marks, the continuations to the downside. You paid too much in the long bear by not listening to me and everybody was heck stakers unaffected. Well, your capital value, my friend, has totally been uh, affected and the rate you're earning does not compensate you for that. Even compounded, even for God knows how many years, if you'd sold at 51 cents, uh, if you'd sold at 37 cents. So it's a thriller, it's a spiller. Don't say anything to Snipe in the thread because he's creaming his threads, reading the, reading the ownage. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what he's saying someone sense looks on the card so someone actually believed us at that point uh what were we trading at uh we would have to open this a little more uh two or three cents many people said no no it's not happening it's not happening so that was on twitter warning you that it's on the way and reaffirming and reasserting that you're getting a sub one to cent call and it's happened Pro tip, kids. Most coins don't dip and then later go back up. They dump and stay down. Forever. It's called getting scammed. FOMO tards love shiny new things and getting wrecked. This is why I mentioned so very few coins. To protect degenerates from themselves. Well, we weren't so confident that that wasn't a little bit of an ironic statement. Personally. Uh, someone else thought it was ironic. Uh, yeah, someone's seeing me pulling tricks there. Okay, as I say, it's not an attack vector on an individual who helped me understand MetaMask, chatted, we did a call, uh, generally good guy. But, you know, tokenomics is tokenomics. It doesn't matter who it's gone. People, things don't stay in the air forever. Once the already committed money doesn't see any new money coming in to or even to the same degree and has reasons to get out. And they had reasons to get out, out of uh, EHEX. They had reasons to get out, even when you had a push for last chance to get new stakes that will be copied over to the PHEX. Where did it die, by the way? Look at these key levels of significance, guys. Look where everything bounced. You think I'm joking with this HVF method. Man, if you guys aren't following us and you're on learning chart reading. Look at these targets, how it rests. You get a perfect flag on the target there. Look at this move up. Look at this head and shoulder, key sellout point. You get a real big rally against you that goes quite some way from 20 points somewhere to almost, where's that? That's the, not the straightest line I've ever seen. Uh, nice try, Jackson. Okay, let's try that again. You're at about 28, 28 cents. You could have sold at 20, you would have avoided this. You actually almost got a rally back to the neckline. Look how the volatility changed after that. Come on, don't do that shit to me. I hate it when you do that uh that 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 that's when it got volatile it was plain easy jam to the short side now you couldn't short hex but you could have got out and just not taken the elevator down that elevator down was 16 of your precious cents um and if you got out at 37 and a half it was even more 17 18 cents pure profit and then it got choppy then it rallied. That was a real opportunity to get out again. The market gave you a second chance. Grind line. Look at all this chopping around the target that occurred. Sell off. Bounce the next target that was on the way up. One of the HVFs. Broadening structure. Technical. Break that. It's in deep trouble. It's a major, major move. 
That level, that purple line was 12 cents. The next time you woke up, you were down here at the second, uh, that's one, there's the dotted one, there's another one. Let's just get it off the chart. You could have got out at 12 cents and that's late in the day. By the time you wiped your eyes out, you were at two. The difference between 12, the difference between trading out at almost 13, 12.75 and getting out at two is the difference between having one sixth of your money and having 100% of your money. And what was that? Resistance on this head, on the reversal back up as it's last chance to get big stakes that will be doubled on P hex. Now look at you. That funnel is gone, friends. That funnel is gone. This chart fell apart in our hands. Everybody's footprints. And I had guys saying, you don't understand on-chain analysis. This is my on-chain analysis. What is the money doing? What is the money doing? It's a spiller. It's a thriller all the way from Manila. You got out there. Oh, how's that for an exit on that head and shoulder, by the way? Oh, yes. Uh, perfect wick. If you were a shorter, you couldn't do it. If you borrowed hex, maybe you could have found a way to synthetically do it. Break really harsh. 5.3, 5.4. Next thing you know, getting out 1.9. Then you get a rally all the way up to 3.7. That week, back, back, back down. You have now run that funnel. Um, and what does Richard say about things that round trip and go to the floor? Well, I just showed you. I just showed you what he said when he's talking about other people's tokens. Ask him if it still stands. I don't know. Maybe he'll say it's different. Look, you got compensated with PX. Someone tell me, where's PX trading right now? Okay, marketing translated. Uh, I am not worried about the dip. You should be. Also, the additional end stake penalties for when you are forced to capitulate. If you are, otherwise, you end up now. Someone sent. You end up probably for what I sacked for when I sacked for X the very first time when the beginning of X. That's some time ago now. You're getting out lower than what I did. And I had the benefit of something that went up about 50, 60, 70 times from a fraction of a cent. Um, and I, I, you know, I only got the final big, uh, I caught just the end of the, you know, the bonus sacrifice one. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's marketing. I'm not worried about the bit. Just go do marketing. Marketing translated is hustle in the crypto bears and bring new money in. That is what you wanted. But you do have concerns. You do have concerns in this. This is so many, uh, so for many to hear, sad for many to hear, but the hex round trip to eight tenths of a cent is getting closer and closer and it was selling off. There's that broadening structure. This was, as we said, the broadening structure on the funnel will break. Then we updated later on Twitter. There it is breaking. Uh, at that point, you're at about seven cents. You still had all the way down. You've run this point now, fine friends. You've run that point now. This is the history. So we didn't just say it once. We said it a number of times. This is hex dominance. We do a bunch of uh, research highlighting that you're breaking, breaking a very key level. This is measuring it against the market cap and other tokens. Measuring it against the market cap uh, and other tokens. This guy thinks it's a bull flag. 1,263 views and 12 likes. <laughs> Nobody liked that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh me. Oh, the most unpopular man in crypto at that point in time. You're going to lose. It's going down. It's going down. Nobody likes the man with the messenger of the bad news. Uh, but guess what? Uh, I chuckle with it about it because not because there was pain and I wanted to see people in pain. I wanted you to listen. I want you to have the best information. I want you to hear what I say on account of what the technical analysis so you don't have to lose all your money in one big fat round tripper, which is what's happened because you got in at fractions of a cent and you're getting out at fractions of a cent, but it went through half a dollar at one point. And that's a heck of a difference. You know, when you're at thousandth of a cent as a starter and hundredths of a cent as a starter. We are technical traders. At any point, would you buy back in? We are technical traders. It would take a high value pattern on a big time frame technicals on the macro, like a possible full, like uh, this looks like a full possible round tripper to next to nothing. I don't say zero, next to nothing. Big new money would need to come in. Where's that going to come in? 
Think about the effort in marketing that went into the pumper mentals of at the original time. Is there ever going to be that level of excitement and newness to do that again? If the answer to you is no, then EHEX is probably not going to do something significant again. It can creep up and be some value on interest at some point if gas fees aren't too high. But hey, there's a better version. It's just around the corner. Hex is up 250x since January 2020. It's not a new coin anymore. Gains will depreciate. Hype will die down. All that will be left are the bag holders and their four fives tattoos, says this guy. If you don't realize that you got dumped on. Okay, yeah, okay, it's quite negative. It's quite hardcore. Um, but in some ways, there might be some truth. By the way, Hex Spiller, we invert the charts. We make sure it makes sense from every level. But some things are easier to see upside down. This was a beautiful first HVF in a brand new trend with a major move and big targets to make. This is the upside down inverted hex with chart. We were showing you the utter uh, un, uh, uh, underperformance against the Ethereum benchmark, which was the most sacrificed token. The most sacrificed uh, token. Buy the dip. Show me the chart where you hurt you. <laughs> he never hurt me. I did great, thank you. I'm grateful to him. But I know where I, I trust I trust my own exits because I have method for it. I don't round trip, but also not so relevant as a 90 plus percent liquidity in USDC. Okay, whatever you say. I got that USDC out, I bought things with it, I did things with it. Um, so yeah, that was hex dominant, slipping, slipping. Uh, I enjoy watching your videos uh, of the markets. Da, 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 da. You should do an interview. Appreciate you warning us about hex way in advance to get out. Yes, we did a long way through. He got out at 40 cents. Do you think he's glad? I tried to help him. He paid me nothing. I did it because I did it and it made sense to me and there was real rationale, not emotion, not the cult of personality. I get this with Ada as well, the guys. Charles is a good guy. I talk about a token that's going to go up far faster and it's totally statist, it's totally evil, it's totally smeared, it's totally everything. But no, Charles is an honest guy and I say, mate, if he wants his project to succeed and government are running the show, he's going to do what they tell him to do. It's the end of the day. You married the man. You don't marry a man. People love people. So they buy into a person and they marry the coin. There's a time to be long. There's a time to be out. There always is. And the only way you ever get that right is you never fall in love. Don't hate and don't fall in love. You can enjoy people's humor. You can enjoy their style. You can watch fashion shows till kingdom come while you're waiting for a project to actually get concluded and love every moment of it if you do. But at the end of the day, you choose your exit and their game is looking after them, not you. Even though sometimes saying looking after you is part of their game, at the end of the day, they still put themselves first. Uh, and in these instances, you got to get out. Uh, and this guy got out at 40 cents. I'm guessing the value of P-hex and E-hex right now, which is sub one cent, here you need P-hex at 39 cents with liquidity to sell out of to even equal what that guy just got out at. Tech dude. So well done to him. He took action. Good one. Moon. Hex will not die. Moon. Richard was right. Yeah, some things he is right. Prices go down because the rack is being chased down. Seller, pressure greater and more dominant than buyers. Even if it's just one guy, because somebody gave some story about... No, it's always a story, by the way. This is the amazing thing, the narrative. Oh, there's a story going around. No, somebody gave 800 million hex to someone else and he pledged that. And now you've got to wait for that guy to dump out and all of this. And there can be absolute truth in the story. But the fact is, a year ago, I said it's going to ascent long before that story even had any seedlings of happened. And it's happened. So it's the narrative. Technical is the early fundamental. It's people who are my oil call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but it was, you know, the injection event that did it that's why you were right well why did i recall it in the middle of 2019 when there was nothing like that it was in the charts because the insider bastards were patterning up their pre-trades in the markets that is why the activity of the participants 
The individual sardines don't make a perfect tunnel around a shark. It's their fear and greed acting, the greed of the shark and the fear of them, and they make a beautiful tunnel. No one sardine is conducting it all. It is the crowd, and that is what we chart. We're charting the entire sardine activity, and they were selling, they were getting out. Uh, the smart people's opinions, and the big money is the smarter money, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, the smaller money needs to realize that. Okay, so what else did we have? I mean, just a bit of history. That's hex against BTC, guys. You could have put it in BTC and BTC crapped the bed uh, and during the bear market. But that is hex against BTC. As a little reminder, that is not a log chart. But you can see where it once was. And you can see uh, how it's doing there. So, you know, it's just a few points. Maybe take ownership for your own exits. Maybe... And this is, everybody has a sell. Richard was selling his token. We have a sell. We have a community. There's something you can pay for to be part of it. Absolutely, that is my interest to do that. But I've given a lot of this to free just to stop people getting wrecked as well. You've got to have an exit. The key thing about any investment is there's a money management stop which you don't lose a certain amount of money more than. You can't just ignore the price, hope for hell that it'll one day come back. The penny stock market is littered with people that bought one cents, ten cents stocks expecting them to go to ten dollars and watch them go to 0 0.01 and eventually get delisted or bought out for tuppence and the shell company. The, this has been happening for eons of life before crypto even came. I've lived it. I've walked it. I was a kid who bought a, wanted to buy a one set stock that traded occasionally to two cents and back down because I could double my money once. And then I learned about liquidity. And then I learned about brokerage fees. And then I learned about a whole bunch of things. And then you stop being bottom pickers. And then you realize you have to have exits. You have to be liquid enough to get that exit fulfilled at a meaningful price. Even on my pulse selling 150 million a time man the price you quoted at one pulse versus 150 million pulse with a liquidity is different it's very flipping different i've been panning those liquidity providers plenty big but here have 150 million here have another 150 million here have 50 million you can keep taking it and the price starts at your pulse is six thousand to get it in. I started selling when it was better off than that, but the most recent one, 6,000. By the time you put 150 million in there, it's seven and a half pulse to one dollar. And it still was better than what it's trading today. You've got to understand liquidity. You've got to understand exits. You've got a preservation of capital. All the original SAC money is out. I am clean. I am safe and I am up. This goes to zero. I'm not dead. Will it go to zero? No, it's not a prediction at all. But the point is, you've got to have capital preservation. Otherwise, you don't get to play another day. I was antsy and an anxious about the fact that even expecting the project to run, overrun by at least six, maybe nine months, it still ended up taking a bit more than what I was. And that's when the fashion shoots got to me. And I was like, get the job done, dude. Um, anyway, uh, it all done, all good, he delivered. It's done. Most of it works. I think it's pretty awesome. It's unbelievable achievement. There's no hate uh, at all in any of this. But you have to look after number one and you have to have exits. You have to have your own little secret plan about what you're going to get out. Because you know he's doing what's good for you, but a whole bunch of what's good for him too. And all this excessive altruism is also uh, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt in anyone, uh, including myself. But I am marketing just like anyone else to say, listen, we were accurate here and you could have had 40 cents. What's P hex? Answer in the comments below. You've now seen EX go down. Will Pulse X on the Pulse, will hex on the Pulse chain, P hex, compensate you for not getting out at the 40 cent to the 51 cent zone or even the 35 cent or uh, well after the triggering of the first head and shoulders will it compensate you today for not getting out at the 12 or cents or 15 or 20 cents at the target of the head and shoulders remember head and shoulders is a cyclical reversal 
that after its target and it got volatile, you've got to rally back up to the neckline. Let's go back to that chart and remind you, you got a second chance, guys. You got a second chance right up there. You made these targets. Uh, it's maybe a bit intense. Let's go back three days, crush it up a bit. Look at that rally back up. You should take that. I tweeted, I remember this to the day. Returning back towards the head and shoulder neckline. Absolutely, you should take it. You've made the first target. This is not going to uh, go higher again. This is a bear market. Take it. And then take it again there. Take it, take it, take it, take it. All the way down. Yes, you wouldn't have got the PX. But you would have got the full price now. You bifurcated and 1 plus 1 doesn't equal 3. You could have taken the three. One plus one doesn't equal five. Anyway, uh, everyone will be telling me the PX in the comments. It'll be awesome to hear. Maybe there's a chart for it somewhere. It's still early days. You can't do much apart from small time frame technical analysis on these other things. As I say, I'm looking at the DEX screener. Some of you are going to be saying, well, what do you say for PulseX? Not enough data, not enough to see. You've got the original pump and you've got the fizzling uh, and the coming down a little bit near the lows there's a bit of panic money coming in here I'm not going to do any more distributing I actually think there's value to uh, a chain with lower gas fees than Ethereum there's quite a few out there but there's value to this one uh, I also think the momentum and the personality of Richard uh, is strong still he's developed a very keen following in believers I say personally never become a believer in person you know, I, I loved investing and trading and everything. And it was first it was Warren Buffett and, you know, Soros. Then I found out what they're all about. You know, you, you, you don't meet, you don't want to meet your heroes. You find out what they're all about. They're pro George Floyd, pro, um, you know, the Bolshevik communism, pro uh, climate change, pro everything. By the time you realize what you are, you don't want to meet, you don't want to meet half the people. Uh, actually, they were your heroes when you were a kid. There's no one that I give that much power to. You must own your own destiny. You can take only some inferences from people, learn and take the message that sounds right. You're good judges of character. Inside you feel the truth when you hear one um, and then you act uh, on it as yours. You must own it. You can't come and bring it back on somebody else's uh, doorstep. Anyway, so EX, down, down, down. Hopefully, as I say, you get compensated with upside in PX, but uh, I still think you should have got out way up top. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, you're welcome to book a call to find out more about what we are investing in. And I took that pulse and I put it straight into other cryptos, by the way, that are the fastest mover over the last two weeks to the upside, by the way. Ones we've spoken a lot of that are hated. Yes, the XRP. They did brilliantly out of SEC. And everyone's going to go, how can you do that? You know, one is, you know, truly decentralized. The other one's a bank account. I'm not here to make belief statement comments. The entire space will be owned. You will comply or die, in my view, in time. And that's another reason why I have some concerns about the smaller projects that are not you know, plugged in up the jacksy of every Freemasonry World Economic Forum member, uh, you've got to understand that they will never let you have your own money. They will never let you have your own money. They might let you speculate like crazy in some private thing and then after they've crashed it, tell you, we're here to protect you, here's the new regulations. That's a standard game that they do often. So, thank you for watching. Hit the like, give it a share. There's lots of decent people. I love generally all the hexagons. This is not a provoke. This is not an attack. Uh, as I say, Richard's treated me very well. It's not an attack on him. It's just the value of technical analysis on price behavior. That's it. It's dispassionate, rational technical analysis on price behavior. You needed the pumper mental phase. You don't have to wear the elevator to the downside. Uh, and I do respect that you have been partially compensated in PX and uh, you could have taken out everything in HEX and just sat for Pulse if you felt you wanted to reinvest and just got out at the top and bought more. I think that would have probably turned you the best and right now I am largely exiting but I will retain a certain element because I think once things calm down I think there is scope for some upside to Pulse Chain. By the way the macro crypto environment is bullish. It is bullish for Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of these bigger coins. And in time, that will mean 
that these things will turn up as well, potentially, especially once they've settled in. Okay, until next time, I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for watching.